Salutations viewers, my name is Game Dame, and welcome back to another one of my Legends of Runeterra patch notes review. So today we have patched uh, 1.12 notes for a new expansion called Monuments of Power. So I'm going to read the description as always, and then we're going to break it down into each section. So we have... Uh, the Call of Mountain Sets continues with new expansion, Monuments of Power. This expansion brings in with new champions and cards, but also new a new card type, landmarks, as well as a region road extensions, new personalization content, and much more. Try out landmarks in a new lab, a landmark occasion, or discover for yourself what lies within Monuments of Power. So the new expansion... Um, Monuments of Power features 40 collectible cards, including three champions, Shyvana, Soraka, and Tom Kench, TK, as well as a variety of new features and content across the game. I'm still, re I'm still reading this for you guys, uh, so you can just follow along if you would like. So the, the expansion also features brand new card type landmarks that represent powerful locations in Ruterra and boast unique game-changing abilities. Monuments of Power is part of the Call of the Mountain set with one more expansion to follow in December. By the time the third expansion is released and the Call of the Mountain set is complete, all regions, including Targon, will have an equal share of champions and near equal share of other cards. They've revealed the cards of uh, Monuments of Power on Legends of Runeterra's social channels over the last few weeks, but starting today, they've made card data available through the Riot Games API, so look for them to show up on your favorite community sites. Uh, so they do have seasonal tournaments coming up, and they are starting a spoiler season of Monuments of Power. And they looked at the dedicated video, in fact, at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time on October 15th. This is already October 24th, the day I'm recording it, so it is already out now. So region road updates. Uh, so they got Targon, Bilgewater, Demacia have extended, so you can pursue all new champions and cards and monuments of power. So they got, what, Targon road extended from 20 to 25 levels. Nice. Players can now obtain the free Targon regional card back by reaching by the end of the Targon road. All right. Bilgewater and Demacia roads extended from 25 to 29. That's good. Uh, the new levels of these regions will only drop Carl, Call of the Mountain cards, both expansions, until you lock them all. And then the road levels added to the Freljord and Shadow Isles, last expansion, 25 to 29, are no longer anchored to, to the Call of the Mountain cards. They can now drop anything. That's cool. That's a good, uh, that's a good little region road update. So with some card, they got some card updates. Um... And they, uh, Rubenzo Live Design Lead just kind of goes into more of how see they're expecting for seasonal tournaments and live design. And uh, you guys can read more in depth of it and while I link it down below. So for the card updates, we have Genevieve Elmhart, health 5 to 4. So she got nerfed uh, because she was consistently killing way too many units, as I have seen her in a lot of the games. Uh, Bastion, now the cost, I believe they... they Made an adjustment in patch 1.11. I can't remember. Uh, but now the cost went from 3 to 4. So they were happy with... I mean, right here, they were happy with last patch's adjustment to Bastion's functionality. But then they thought it was just too efficient. So they had to bump up the cost to basically nerf in the card a bit. So hopefully we're gonna, not going to be seeing this card as much. But it's still a pretty good card to have in your Targon deck. So Hush has been getting a lot of changes. And now the cost was ner like buffed in a sense. The cost was buffed, but now they have changed the old text to new text. So the old text was silence a unit this round, creating a fleeting hush card in hand that costs one more, which I thought was a pretty good change. But now new text is silence a unit this round. So you can only use it once as a burst card, and now it's two mana. So they continue to evaluate this card often because it is a really strong card. Um, and it's very powerful tool for just Targon decks in general. So they're just removing the instance where you can repeatedly have Hush, and they're just making it a one-time card. So I think that's a better uh, change than they did in the last patch. And then they have Living Legends. So the old text was, fill your hands with random fleeting celestial cards, refill your mana. Now the new text is, fill your hands with random fleeting celestial cards, refill your mana gems to full. Ooh, note, this no longer refills your spell mana. That is a pretty good change. So I want to see what mindset that they have in to make this change. So they said the ability to refill your span mana, even if you had none, in addition to your mana games, living legends, or really swinging top end potential. I agree. I like that they made that change so it refills your mana, but not your spell mana. So we might be seeing a little bit less of this card, but it is still a very strong high cost card. Um, now they have more additions to labs, so they're experimenting a bit for labs in 1.12. Uh, 
And during their first week of their expansion drops, they'll get to try out new decks around the landmarks of, from Monuments of Power. Nice. Okay. So for week one for a landmark occasion, you get to choose from a selection of six decks, each showcasing one of the brand new landmark cards from Monuments of Power and filled with new cards to support it. So Howling Abyss, they venture to the hallowed Howling Abyss and fight alongside its legendary champions. Nox Crya Arena combine the cold of Freljord and strength of Noxus to tackle your frostbitten foes. The Slaughter Docks toss your deck and reap the rewards. Star Spring devour your enemies and heal up your wounded allies. And University of Piltover Heimerdinger's preferred deck now with lots of variables for science. And Vaults of Helia sacrifice units to gain uh, grow in power. So in their Aram Week Two. Their first lab is back with a few changes. Rather than building, you get to choose from a mulligan of full of champion cards. So that's pretty cool. I like how, like I said before in the last patch notes video, they just keep making it a little better. And they're doing a lot of experimenting, which I think is so important to do as much experimenting as you can to see what your audience members like to do. Whether it be a good experiment or a bad experiment, we are here for you. Uh, so they got another board, Haunted Grounds. Enter if you dare. Cute looking board. Uh, yeah, that's all it is. Cute looking board. Uh, they got a new Guardian, Infernal Drake. Oh, super cute little Guardian. Uh, got more card backs. So they got Boo and Dragonborn. I kind of like this stuff. Uh, the emotes. Haha, <laughs> I like these emotes. I would probably use the Finger Guns Aurelian Soul quite often. And the Sirocco one. The TK one's kind of unsettling. So now they have more bundles uh, now available. So there's a Harrowing bundle now available for 1,332 coins. And that includes the Haunted Grounds board and Boo card back. And then the Emotes of Power bundle now available for 570 coins. Grab all four Monuments of Power emotes at 25% discount. So if you guys haven't gotten that already and you love the emotes, go check it out. Uh, so they got some deck bundles though. So the Dragonborn bundle is now available for 3,339 coins. Uh, prorated for any excess card copies based on your existing collection. And it includes Dr Draconic Fury deck. Infernal Drake Guardian and Dragonborn card deck and the exclusive Shyvana emote fired up. That's pretty sweet. I like that. And Shyvana is one of my favorite characters too. I, li I like her lore and I just love her as like a champion in actual League of Legends. They got more expeditions and then ooh, ranked rewards and new seasons. That's right. So they got some bronze and iron. Okay. And this, they're just going to be resetting it pretty much as they do with not every patch, but uh, for the rank rewards and new season. They're just going to reset it. So Masters accounts will drop 8 divisions. Diamond and Platinum accounts will drop 750 LP. 7 divisions plus 50 LP. Gold and Silver accounts will drop 700, 675 LP. 6 divisions and 75 LP. Bronze and Iron accounts will reset to, to Iron 5. No, Iron 4. Sorry, I'm not great with Roman numerals sometimes. Uh, I can never remember which one's which. Does not help I'm dyslexic, but it, I mean, I can read it. I just don't <laughs> know Roman numerals. Um, so challenge requests and AI decks. So they added bring forth the lands, new monuments of power quests added, and new monuments of power AI deck added featuring dragons. And then they got miscellaneous updates. So again, not a bad patch. Uh, I mean, they're just starting off with a new portion, monuments of power. So it is nice that they have a new expansion. Uh, there wasn't too much that made me excited for this other than Bastion and Hush and Living Legends. I think those are the most important updates are those three cards from this expansion. But yeah, no, that's it's not bad. But I'm, I'm not saying it's very impactful. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe and or follow not only to my YouTube, but to my Twitch. You guys know where my YouTube is at. But you can find my Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegamedame. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.